Thank you. 
faculty, so. They don't do their announcements. Yeah, they do. You were talking. Oh, I'm so sorry.
Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm pleased to declare Quinnipiac University's 2019 graduate commencement ex exercises for the College of Arts and Sciences, School of Health Sciences, and School of Nursing officially open. Would you please stand for the national anthem, which will be performed by Catherine Lee Abbott, graduate from the School of Health Sciences. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the Please be seated. I'd like to take a moment to recognize the members of our platform party, which consists of our speaker, university administrators, and the deans and program directors of our college and schools. It is now my honor to present Dr. Judy Olian, president of Quinnipiac University, who will bring you greetings on behalf of the university community. Thank you. Thank you, Provost Thompson, and welcome everybody to this wonderful occasion. I'm delighted to be here with you to celebrate this unforgettable milestone in each of your lives. This commencement marks an exciting and perhaps slightly anxious time for you, graduates. For the past few years, Quinnipiac has been your home. Please know it will always be your home, and we hope you come back often. We are your constant, in addition to your families, in this time of momentous change for you. Now, before I heap all this praise over you, the graduates, let us all acknowledge those who were with you for your entire journey. Spouses, partners, significant others, parents, dear friends, who helped you every step of the way. Let us congratulate them too with gratitude for all they did to make this day possible. You've shared, graduates, in a very special time of learning and growth while here at Quinnipiac because of all this university and your colleges have to offer. But the truth is that your experience was transformational because of what each of you contributed and made of your experience here. It's you. You've been engaged and caring, leaders in your own right, and you've left an indelible mark here that will benefit future generations of graduates. Communities need you now more than ever. We live in times of social and political polarization, of growing tensions among economic, 
gender, racial, ethnic, and religious divides, while at the same time, we're experiencing the excitement and opportunities of unprecedented discoveries in healthcare, technology, services, and social connectors that, if deployed wisely, could radically alleviate these tensions and improve the quality of life for communities and even nations that have been previously deprived. You are the generation that can achieve this. You're so well prepared to alleviate societal ills, to address chronic disease and the needs of an aging population, and also to assist in conducting the necessary research to seize the opportunities of rapidly advancing technologies and scientific discovery that will radically improve the quality of life for so many. This is such an exciting time, and you're so well positioned to join this accelerating wave of innovation and socially impactful change. And you're already doing your part. Your caring and dedication have extended to local and global communities. This is no surprise. Many of you plan to embark on careers that exist to lift members of society and literally to save lives. You volunteered at local clinics and with the Special Olympics. You've traveled to the Dominican Republic to provide health care to the underserved. You've worked on multidisciplinary task forces to address the opioid crisis in Connecticut. You've traveled to the men's shelter in New Haven to provide fellowship, food, clothing, and hygiene products. You've mentored underrepresented and first-generation undergraduate students at mm -hmm. QU in STEM projects. You've partnered in the PAL program, which brings local high school students to campus for tutoring and to attend classes. You've educated the community about veterans' health care. You've helped young children with disabilities modify their PAL wheels through Go Baby Go program. You've made frequent visits to ACES in Hamden to provide education about such topics as dental care, exercise, and fitness. You've raised funds for rare cancer research at Memorial Sloan Kettering through your cycle for survival and donated to the Connecticut chapter of the United Spinal Association through your annual walk and roll event. You've volunteered at the Connecticut Food Bank in Wallingford, and you've done all of this good while managing a very hefty course load. We are so proud of you and admiring of your choices and passions. Of course, this aligns well with Quinnipiac's strategic priority of nurturing communities, one of the four pillars of our new strategic plan. You are ambitious, talented, caring, and curious, and most importantly, you conduct yourselves with integrity and decency. I expect that as you look back over your time at QU, you marvel at the remarkable breadth of experiences you've had, high impact class projects, courses that have changed how you think about the world, clinical and research collaborations alongside superbly talented faculty, and making friends for life with some of the best people you will ever meet. As you go forth as Quinnipiac alumni, I encourage you to help others as you've been helped along the way, whether mentoring future generations that follow you, becoming leaders in government or community organizations, assisting neighbors in the community, reaching out to children who are not benefiting from the childhood education they deserve, joining research teams because of the promise of societal impact, or tending to patients and clients who need your compassion. I also encourage you to remain curious and open to the new, to continue learning and growing. In our rapidly changing world, we don't know what we're gonna to need to know 10 years from now, or even in five years. What we do know is that to be successful and enlightened, we must be lifelong learners. As a Quinnipiac graduate, beyond your technical and professional know-how, We've positioned you with a mindset of continued learning, curiosity, questioning, and critical thinking. That's the best preparation for the 21st century careers and for the accelerated changes of this complex, globally connected world. You've also demonstrated an appreciation of differences, learning from, working with, and listening to people from different backgrounds is where the best ideas and solutions are generated. 
You're lucky and you are gifted. As John F. Kennedy said, to those who much is given, much is expected. Remember to share your blessings and to give back. We will be forever proud of you and we will follow your life's journey with great interest. Please remain a Bobcat for life. Stay connected wherever you land. Find ways to remain in touch with your fellow QU family and engage in lifelong growth and learning also through QU. Congratulations, class of 2019. You have already made your mark and we can't wait to see how you continue to change the world. Thank you. I now call Ashley Simone forward. Ashley is a biomedical sciences student and president of the Graduate Student Council who will welcome you on behalf of the graduates. Thank you, Provost Thompson. Good afternoon and a warm Bobcat welcome. On behalf of the graduate student body, it is my pleasure to welcome our distinguished guests, faculty, staff, administrators, family, and friends to the 2019 Graduate Commencement Ceremony. Please join me in congratulating the class of 2019. So I have a confession to make. At the start of my journey at Quinnipiac University, I was absolutely terrified of public speaking. So in preparation for today, I researched the way any millennial would. I watched countless hours of YouTube. Throughout my search, uh, what I found was that they would all start off with some cliched quote to inspire the audience. I do not have a quote per se, for you. Instead, I'd like to share with you an important law of physics. The law of inertia states that an object at rest will stay at rest and an object in motion will stay in motion unless acted on by an unbalanced force. In other words, potential without work is futile. Graduates, each of us were admitted to Quinnipiac University because they believed in our potential to achieve academic excellence. While we may have entered with bright eyes and ambitious plans on how we'd use our potential to make our mark in the world, we were soon met by obstacles along the way designed to challenge our progression. Somewhere between the first set of exams and the last, we realized that this degree would not come easy, our knowledge would not come cheap, and all the potential in the room would remain just that had it not been for a transformation along the way used to propel ourselves forward. Of course, I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge the large number of supporters that surround us in this room, the fuel to the fire. From the educators and mentors, to our parents and peers, and those here with us in spirit, all serving as pivotal forces, acting on our potential to get the A, and get the job, and get up and speak in front of the audience. It truly takes a village to make it this far. But the journey does not end here, and greater obstacles inevitably await us all. When they do, it is important to remember that every open door is someone else who believes in your potential to achieve remarkable things. So when the opportunity arises that calls for your unique perspective and expertise, I challenge you to seize it. It is an honor to be an alum of Quinnipiac University an institution that is so committed to supporting the growth of its students. Today marks the end of another milestone on the road to whatever greatness we aspire towards. But we leave here with more than just a well-earned degree. The intrinsic values of sacrifice, hard work, and determination, coupled with the reality of challenging coursework, valuable connections, priceless experiences and unwavering support has primed us to be better equipped for the future that we will help shape. May your will to succeed greatly surpass the mere desire to do so, that you rise to the occasion 
and always use these tools to make a positive impact in the world around us. On behalf of Graduate Student Council, congratulations to the class of 2019. Thank you. Thank you, Ashley. It's now my privilege to introduce Dr. William Kolhep, Dean of the School of Health Sciences. It's my pleasure to introduce our commencement speaker, Dr. Reginald Eady. Reginald J. Eady, MD, MBA, is President and Chief Executive Officer of Trinity Health of New England. In this capacity, he directs 13,000 colleagues across a network of hospitals, walk-in clinics, medical offices, specialized facilities, affiliated institutions, and foundations serving a population of near, nearly three million people in Connecticut and Massachusetts. Before his appointment at Trinity Health of New England, Dr. Eady forged a legacy of healthcare leadership in Detroit. He is a board-certified emergency physician and the author of two books about healthy eating, How to Eat and Live Longer and Eating from the Tree of Life. In addition to writing about obesity, he has led community-based efforts in both Detroit and Hartford focused on healthy eating. His 61-day challenges to say no, no to soda pop and fried foods have encouraged thousands to eat better. He earned his bachelor's degree from South Carolina State University, his MD from Wayne State University, and his MBA from Michigan State University. Please join me in welcoming our commence commencement speaker, Dr. Reginald J. Eady. Today, today reminds me of an integration with our very differentiated isolated and sequestered healthcare system. Today, today reminds me of a symbiotic relationship between a university and a hospital system. Today, today reminds me of a holistic approach to care through health sciences, arts and sciences, and the science of nursing. Today reminds me of about 450 moving parts working as one in pursuit of excellence and healthcare delivery. Today, today reminds me that as a graduate thinketh, so is she, so is he. Today, today reminds me of a little boy by the name of Billy. Billy, by the age of 12, fell victim of a disease called tuberculosis. Tuberculosis, or TB, is a contagious bacterial infection that mainly affects the lungs, but can spread to other parts of the body. In most cases, TB is lethal. Billy was the oldest of six children, five boys and one girl. His family was very poor as his father died when he was young, leaving Billy seamlessly as a child without a way. His father was a kind, loving, and wise man a bookseller, a stationer, his mother a homemaker, and really only known for being a descendant of a famous poet. His very frequent TB exacerbations kept him away from school and impact his learning. A few years later, the disease spread to his left foot and then eventually all over his left leg. For the fear that the disease may continue to spread throughout his body, the doctors decided to amputate his left leg when he was just 14 years old. Unfortunately, the TB had spread to his left leg and continued to spread throughout his body. The young boy was afraid that he would never be able to fulfill his career aspirations as he spent many days, sometimes months, in the hospital. His father, before he died, always reminded Billy that he would have to be the man of the house had something happened to him. Do not conform to this world, his father would remind him, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. But this TB, the doctors would tell him, was going to prevent him from being the man his mother 
and five younger siblings needed him to be in the absence of his father. The TB began to spread quickly throughout his bodies and the doctors, after trying everything, began to give up hope. They told his mother and young siblings that the prognosis was poor and that Billy only had 30 days to live. As a physician, I've seen many patients to whom, like Billy, hope seemed futile. Dean Kohep, Dean O'Connor, Dean Smart, faculty, staff, and administrators, thank you. Thank you for shepherding almost 458 students into a lifelong journey in health sciences through the transformation of their minds for teaching them to always wonder and, and always question, for reminding them that health sciences, arts and sciences, and the science of nursing is a way of thinking, much more than just a body of knowledge, for showing them that even in the failed clutch of circumstance, they can think their way through any difficulties, any barriers, and right into their desired circumstances. And to the graduates, in some regards, you are taking on a journey with a beginner's mind. But that's the good news. That's what makes today so special. Because in a beginner's mind, there are many possibilities. In an expert's mind, there are few. You'll find that in some instances during this journey, you must unlearn the very things you've been taught. As she thinketh, so is she. As she continues to think, so shall she remain. See, men are anxious to improve their circumstances, but are unwilling to improve themselves. They f therefore, they remain bound. But wouldn't it be great if human beings were great at being human? And if all mankind were made up of kind women and kind men, it would be wonderful if common knowledge was well, knowledge commonly known, and if the light from being positive and every thought was shown. It would be glorious if neighbors were, were just neighborly and indifference was a forgotten word. It would be awesome if we shared everything and being greedy was absurd. It would be spectacular if positive thinking was normal thinking to every man and woman. And all the good things that we ever did was everything that we can. A man is literally what he thinks, his character being the complete sum of all of his thoughts. Graduates, every one of you will sooner or later face your very own TB, just like little Billy did. When faced with it during your journey, you must recall that they who conquered doubt and fear have conquered failure, and that circumstances they don't make who you are. They simply reveal you your thoughts. As an African-American growing up in the very challenged environment, I had multiple TBs in my life. But my worst was having to recite a poem. I was OK with public speaking, but having to recite a poem that I had to first memorize created a great deal of anxiety, doubt, and fear. That was my TB. But because one can rise, conquer, and achieve by lifting up his thoughts, I decided to positively think my way right out of that circumstance full of doubt, fear, and anxiety. Until this day, whenever I have to recite a poem, I initiate positive thoughts by doing something that you may find funny. I simply close my eyes, take my hand, and rest it over my heart just like this. It may sound weird, but I tell you, positive thoughts beget great outcomes, just as negative thoughts beget bad outcomes. Remember, your present circumstance doesn't determine where you can go. They merely determine where you start. You see, it was proper thinking in 1929 by Samuel Tater and Philip Troop when they founded what became Quinnipiac University. It was proper thinking that moved the board to hire President 
Olean. It was proper thinking when the institution was named Quinnipiac in honor of the Quinnipiac Indian tribe that once inhabited the land. And it was proper thinking that led Ashley Simon to deliver to her class such a positive message. Thank you, Ashley. <laughs> Dr. Martin Luther King said, proper thinking is an inner resolution to go forward despite obstacles. Improper thinking is submission to circumstances. Proper thinking breeds creativity, whereas improper thinking represses fear and masters it. Proper thinking means one is unconquerable, undefeatable. It displays strength in the face of impossibility. Someone with proper thinking is bold, brave, unafraid to face tough challenges. A little Billy was faced with disseminated TB. So graduates, when you display signs and symptoms of, of your TB, how will you handle it? Will you conquer it with proper thinking? If unsure, just remind yourselves of today. Remind yourself that you are a graduate of Quinnipiac, class of 2019. You're a bobcat. You got this. Or you can close your eyes and simply place your hand over your heart. Whatever you do, just positively think your way through it. Because if not you, then who? If not then, then when? If not that, then what? If not there, then where? If not through positive thinking, then how? Today. Today reminds me of an integration within our very differentiated, isolated, and sequestered health system. Proper thinking. Today reminds me of a symbiotic relationship between a university and a healthcare system. Proper thinking. Today reminds me of a holistic approach to care through health sciences, arts and sciences, and the science of nursing. Proper thinking. Today reminds me of one unit with 458 moving parts in pursuit of excellence in healthcare delivery. Proper thinking. Today reminds me that as a graduate thinketh, so is she. So is he. Today reminds me of a little boy, a little boy named Billy that at the age of 12 fell victim to tuberculosis that spread throughout his body. In most cases, TB is lethal. This boy was the oldest of six children, five boys and one girl. His family was very poor as his father died at a very young age, leaving Billy seemingly hopeless without way. His father was a kind, loving, and wise man, a bookseller, a stationer, his mother a homemaker, and really only known for being a descendant of a poet. A few years later, the disease spread from his left foot and eventually all over his entire leg, resulting in an amputation. Unfortunately, the TB had already left his left leg and continued to spread throughout his entire body. The doctors, after trying everything, gave up hope. They told his mother and young siblings that the prognosis was poor and little Billy only had 30 days to live. Day 29, they were watching to see what would happen. Day 28, the TB spread to his right foot. Day 27 went by, day 26. Day 25, day 24. Day 23, the TB had engulfed his entire right leg and it too had to be amputated. Yet, little Billy never shed a tear. Day 22, day 21, day 20, the TB spread to both of his ears, leaving Billy deaf. Day 19, day 18, he was without legs, could not hear, and the TB had spread to both eyes. Day 17, day 16, day 15, the TB was well within both eyes, and little Billy lost his vision. Day 14, day 13, day 12, day 11, the TB spread to both lungs and started to impact his breathing. Day 10, day 9, day 8, day 7. By day 6, his days all turned to nights. He lived his life in total darkness. He could not see. He could not hear. He had no legs, and now his breathing 
began to worsen. Day five, day four. Day three, he stopped eating and had only a few breaths left in him. Day day two, the TB had spread over his scalp. Blood began to drip continuously from his head and down his face. Day one, when he had only hours to live, this young man was saddened by the fact that although he maintained a sense of toughness throughout this sickness, he would never grow to be the proper thinking leader his father had expected him to be. He wanted to be inconquerable, undefeatable, strong in the face of impossibility, bold and brave, unafraid to to face tough challenges. And most importantly, he wanted to be a poet, a poet just like his mother's uncle. He wanted to be a world-renowned poet who would spread the spirit of proper thinking to graduates like the one we celebrate today, who believed that fostering teamwork, critical thinking skills, high ethical standards and respect for diverse populations, they will become compassionate practitioners and scientists with broad professional competencies who value evidence-based practice and lifelong learning. All that Billy achieves and all that he fails to achieve is a direct relationship to his thoughts. Tick, tick, tick. Time zero arrived. Billy, he recalled his father saying, for as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Billy is today where his thoughts have bought him. He will be tomorrow where his thoughts take him. Billy realized that he couldn't command many things, but he could command himself. That he cannot coerce the wills of others, but that he can mold and master his own will. 30 years after time zero, after the clock stopped ticking, he fulfilled his father's expectations and his dreams. Billy became that poet and wrote a poem that means unconquerable through proper thinking. I will conclude by reading it to you. And I invite you all to to appreciate and enjoy the positive thinking that Billy captured in this poem as he laid in his hospital bed dying. He laid there blind and he wrote the poem. He laid there bloody and he wrote this poem without limb, without fear, without doubt, without tear. And as he positively thought, he was able to think his way through his TB. So let me read it. Better yet, let me recite it. Out of the night that covers me, black as a pit from pole to pole, I think whatever gods may be, for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud. And under the bludgeoning of chance, my head is bloody, but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horrors of the shades, and yet the menace of the year finds and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged, with punishments the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. His poem, Invictus, which means unconquerable through proper thinking. His name, William Ernest Henley, AKA Little Billy, who was born August 23rd, 1849, and lived 54 years later, despite a very differentiated, isolated, and sequestered healthcare system. When Quinnipiac and Trinity of New England did not have a symbiotic relationship, where there was no holistic approach to medicine, when graduates were not in pursuit of excellence in healthcare delivery, yet we still tell this story and we read, we recite his poetry. Why? because he did not conform to this world, because instead he transformed himself. He created his circumstances through his thinking. There were thought, the results, he thought his way through his TB. So graduates, cherish your vision, cherish your ideals, cherish the music that stirs your heart, the beauty that forms in your mind. 
the loveliness that drapes your thoughts. And if you remain true to them, your world will at last be built. Because as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. As a woman thinketh in her heart, so is she. And as the graduates at Quinnipiac University of class of 2019 thinketh, so shall you be. God bless you all and thank you. Thank you, Dr. Eady. It's now my privilege to introduce Dr. Robert Smart, Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. I bring you greetings from the College of Arts and Sciences, the staff and faculty, uh, and I want to tell you all how proud we are of you, and I want on behalf of the college to wish you all great uh, good fortune and, uh, and luck in your pursuits after you leave here. Uh, marshals, please direct the candidates for the Master of Science, Molecular and Cell Biology to the platform. Anna Rose Belrive. Anirudan Mohan Bitkar. Aniruda is the recipient of the Academic Excellence Award, MS in Molecular and Cell Biology. <laughs> Bailey J. Davis. Sarah Jo Dickerman. Nicholas James Girard. Latia Iboki. Charbel Khalil, Lupa Jahan Latif, Kiana Renee Marks, Kayla McGrath, Nayan Patel. Kelly Provenzano, Dominic Place Schiopo, Ross William Somo, Matthew Ross Steinley, I ask the candidates to remain uh, standing. Madam President, I have the honor to present from the College of Arts and Sciences candidates for the degree of Master of Science, Molecular and Cell Biology. By the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Master of Science, Molecular and Cell Biology, with all of the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. On behalf of the faculty and staff of the College of Arts and Sciences, congratulations to all of today's graduates. Thank you. It's now my privilege to introduce Dr. William Kolhep, Dean of the School of Health Sciences. <laughs> Marshals, please direct the candidates for the Master of Health Science Advanced Medical Imaging and Leadership degree to the platform. Brittany Sue Abbott. Brittany is the recipient of the Academic Excellence Award, MS in Advanced Medical Imaging and Leadership. Congratulations, Brittany. <laughs> Elaine Marie Frankie. 
Nikki Huynh. Allison Lynn Kirby. Shannon Ruth Livingston. Catherine Mary Rodriguez. I ask the candidates to please rise. Madam President, I have the honor to present from the School of Health Sciences candidates for the degree of Master of Health Science, Advanced Medical Imaging and Leadership. By the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Master of Health Science, Advanced Medical Imaging, and leadership with all of the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations to you. Marshals, please direct the candidates for the Master of Health Science Cardiovascular Perfusion degree to the platform. Keith Cameron Fuller Bryant. Rory Nicholson Hall, Ian David Nielsen, Catherine Page Santoro. Catherine is the recipient of the William B. Schaefer Award. Congratulations. Madam President, I have the honor to present from the School of Health Sciences the candidates for the degree of Master of Health Sciences, Cardiovascular Perfusion. By the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Master of Health Science, Cardiovascular Perfusion, with all of the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations to you. Marshals, please direct the candidates for the Master of Health Science, Biomedical Sciences, and Medical Laboratory Sciences degree to the platform. Victoria Ula B.C. Afalayan. Fayez Barjos Alanezi, Badr Madhi Alanazi Sr., Fawaz Alanazi Sr., Mohammed Hathal Alanazi, Rehab Nawaf Alanazi. Bashir Bashair Al Tawi, Talal Alanezi, Alkumi Al Rawili, Shema Hamoud Al Ruweli, Iman Al Saidi. Aisha Abdurrahman Al Saran, Seishu <laughs> Thulekshmi Babu, <laughs> Tiana L. Clemens, <laughs> Sabrina Umi Coxum, <laughs> Kevin Connolly, Patrick Joseph Conway III. Patience Otuko Cornu. Christina Bianca Diagostino. Megan Elizabeth Elkins. Iyat Harwari. Jennifer Patricia Kiggins. 
Haliam Kiem. Jan Coker. Liat Levy. Liat is the recipient of the Academic Excellence Award, MHS in Biomedical Sciences. Congratulations. Patrika Nicole Morgan. Shannon Louise Murray. Maria Truin. Gertrude E. Uma. Pooja Patel. Ashley Carmela Simon. Michael Andrew Tantorski. Lugina Carmel Toussaint. Travis Timothy Townsend. Ryan James Tran. Allison Ann Voce. With the candidates standing, Madam President, I have the honor to present from the School of Health Sciences, candidates for the degree of Master of Health Science, Biomedical Sciences, and Medical Laboratory Sciences. By the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Master of Health Science, Biomedical Sciences, and Medical Laboratory Sciences with the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Marshals, please direct the candidates for the Master of Health Science Pathologist Assistant degree to the platform. Catherine Lee Abbott. Catherine is the recipient of the Dr. Kenneth V. Kaluskian Award. Congratulations. Monica Ambrosi. Nicole Christine Babich. Ashley Marie Beerus. Frank Christopher Cartanis. Kiesens Culbreth. Daniel Michael Disbro. Taylor Marie Ellison. Ala Guitel. Matthew Scott Hilton. Mitchell David Klesiak. Jenna Rose Liondecker. Alicia Jin Lim. Heather Suzanne Marrero. Sally Nicolosi. Patrick Moore Ryan. Emily Schlotterbeck. Jacinta Elena Small. Justin Thomas Smith. Nicole Janine Steinley. Haley Ann Veal. Madam President, I have the honor to present from the School of Health Sciences, candidates for the degree of Master of Health Science, Pathologist Assistant. By the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Master of Health Science, Pathologist Assistant, with all of the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. 
Congratulations. Marshals, please direct the candidates for the Master of Health Science Physician Assistant degree to the platform. Christina Anello. Jenna Rose Appleton. Molly Stiles Arneth. Maria Athena Boris. Sarah Francis Boudreau, Emily Margaret Brook, Megan Molly Chapman, Matthew Christopher DiCaprio, Mark G. L. Sesser, Christina Maria Fernini, Kim Fox. Emily Sharon Frago. <laughs> Alyssa Natalie Friedman. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Good. <laughs> Neville John Graham. <laughs> Garrett Austin Guimon. <laughs> Walker Daniel Henson. <laughs> Benjamin Iapaluccio. Sarah Desiree Kennedy Etheridge. Kendra L. King. Olivia Marie Copin. Patricia Ann Landino. Kyle Leung. Van Luong. Morgan Ann Massey. Jillian Ashry McColgan. James Patrick McWade. Kelly Ann Meenan. Ashley Marie Morrow. Ariel Morley. Carolyn Louise Morose, Nicholas Joseph Mulligan, <laughs> Seth William Naramore, Lindsay Nicole Palma, <laughs> Stephanie Lee Schmidt. <laughs> Stephanie is the recipient of the Academic Excellence Award. MH, <laughs> Stephanie, come back, come back, come back. Stephanie is the recipient of the Academic Excellence Award, MHS in Physician Assistant. <laughs> Danny Casey Somerville. Matthew Peter Struble. Michael Keen Sullivan. Nicolene Lovisa Tegnell. Lana M. Tran. Gabriel Gary Umber. Alexandra Vialba. Jared Conroy Walsh. Natalie Ann Wolanski. Madam President, I have the honor to present from the School of Health Sciences candidates for the degree of Master of Health Science, Physician Assistant. By the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Master of Health Science, Physician's Assistant, with all of the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Marshals, please direct the candidates for the Master of Health Science Radiologist Assistant degree to the platform. 
Victoria Catherine Carter. Victoria is the recipient of the Academic Excellence Award, MHS and Radiologist Assistant. Tyler Alexander Hardy. Anna Linda Hingston. Tiffany Elise Ruiz. Justin Min Trong. Will the candidates please rise? Madam President, I have the honor to present from the School of Health Sciences candidates for the degree of Master of Health Science, Radiologist Assistant. By the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Master of Health Science, Radiologist Assistant, with all of the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Marshals, please direct the candidates for the Master of Occupational Therapy degree to the platform. Kimberly Ann Adden. Lydia Ann Anderson. Jacqueline Ann Babaluskun. Babaluska. Babalus. Babaluskun. Sorry. <laughs> Nicole Antonetta Baker. Danielle Marie Barillaro. Sydney Elise Barnes. Sydney is the recipient of the Academic Excellence Award, Entry Level Master of Occupational Therapy. Michelle Elise Bodensik. Lindsay A. Buskett. Aaron Kathleen Bracken. Rachel Judith Brown. Aaron Elizabeth Caddick. Christina Carmona. Jessica Rose Casso. Lee Elizabeth Chamberlain. Allison Suzanne Charette. Lauren Catherine Cleary. Jessica Clow. Haley Elizabeth Conway. Sarah Elizabeth Crawford. Micah Ross Cutler. Emily Victoria Chaya. Christina Davino. Anna Grace DeSimone. Carly Ann DiStefano. Olivia Maev Deneen. Gabrielle Andrea Dizon. Caitlin A. Dobransky. Nicholas Danielle Donahue. Mary Catherine Dowling. Felicia Lenore Duke. Catherine Allen Duffy. Stephanie Marie Eggleston. Carolyn Sarah Entwistle. Alejandro Hanayo Fernandez. <laughs> Hannah Carey Foster. <laughs> Melissa Lauren Frank. Sydney Michelle Frank. Hope Yvonne Gallagher. <laughs> Kira Elise Gaduski. Alexandra Eve Goldstein. 
Lauren Alexandra Grant. Brittany Rose Gravel. Christina Louise Gray. Aaron B. Haft. Monica Ann Hall. Alyssa Danielle Hart. Megan Mary Hayward. Taylor Elizabeth Hennigan. Amanda M. Hildebrandt. Stephanie Ping Hong. Taylor Hussey. Jacqueline Taylor Inzalaco. Noel Melissa Johnson. Megan Patricia Keegan. J. Alessix Cujero Jureko. Gina Marie Laganella. Alessandra Mimi Lang. Christy Marie Latella. Bailey Nicole Lyons. Anya Kathleen McDonald. Nicole A. Moranga. Emily, Amanda Emily Matisses. Nicole Ann May. Taylor Renee Miller. Elizabeth Catherine Mirasola. Nicole Marie Moran. Jennifer Lauren Muller. Madeline Bridget Murgatroyd. Katie Lynn O'Connor. Deanna Marie O.J. Allison Claire Parker. Lindsay Aaron Peckham. Cameron Diana Renslow. Melissa Catherine Rusciotto. Mariah Elizabeth Root. Jade Alice Ross. Caitlin Santos. Amanda Catherine Seville. Unjali Manisha. Elise Hanna Shabazian. Stephanie Nicole Shaw. Dana Ariel Simons. Madison F. Sutton. Heather Ann Sveck. Mariana Tamayo. Emily Teresa Torini. Laura Welsh Van Horn. Kylie Taylor Wells. Madam President, I have the honor to present from the School of Health Sciences candidates for the degree of Master of Occupational Therapy. By the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Master of Occupational Therapy with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Marshals, please direct the candidates for the Master of Social Work degree to the platform.
Lisa Bakioki. <laughs> Allie Elizabeth Bates. Catherine Jean Elizabeth Bernardo. Joanne C. Carde. April Elizabeth Caldwell. Kara Elizabeth Coogan. Troy Christopher Cote. Michelle Ann Zaja. Christopher J. Dean. Michelle Lynn De Janeiro. Natalie Marie De Elia. Taylor Brian De Natalie. Julian Lee Dorsett. Jennifer Lauren Ribko. Jeffrey Kieran. Ashley Lauren Kelly. Linda Kampui. Marissa Michelle Kosh. Rihanna Nicole Lewis. Sandy Matos. Catherine T. O'Donnell. Amanda Lee Paniello. Amanda is the recipient of the Academic Excellence Award, Master of Social Work. <laughs> Jessica Monica Rodriguez. Lori M. Starrett. Emma Jane Tangway. Madam President, I have the honor to present from the School of Health Sciences candidates for the degree of Master of Social Work. By the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Master of Social Work with all of the rights and privileges <laughs> pertaining thereto. Congratulations. I would like to invite to the hooding area faculty members Salvador Bondock and Barbara Nadeau, who will be performing the occupational therapy doctorate hooding. Marshals, please direct the candidates for the occupational therapy doctorate to the platform. Christina Gabriello Bufanis. Victor Michael Camacho. Charisse Donier Carter. <laughs> Rochelle Gillian Charles. <laughs> Catherine Ann Crossman. Rebecca Dawn Foster. Vera Ann Gallagher. Jessica A. Coteri. Marissa B. Love. Karen Geisenheimer Morris. Emma Jeanette Pereira. Jamie Provisor. Heidi Nicole Robertson. Aaron D. Rose. Aaron is the recipient of the Academic Excellence Post-Professional Occupational Therapy Doctorate Award. Congratulations.
Caitlin E. Rotella. Catherine Chua Sangwoo. Aaron K. Wells. I ask the candidates to please rise. Madam President, I have the honor to present from the School of Health Sciences candidates for the Occupational Therapy Doctorate degree. By the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Occupational Therapy Doctorate with all of the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. I would like to invite to the hooding area faculty members Catherine Harris and Michelle Brogy, who will be performing the Doctor of Physical Therapy Hooding. Marshals, please direct the candidates for the physical, Doctor of Physical Therapy to the platform. Sarah Elizabeth Acevedo. Christopher Pasqual Aiello. Aaron Mary Weldon Anderson. Kathleen N. Berry. Casey Addison Bain. Megan Renee Blanasa. Alexandra Marie Bona. Cassandra Marie Bowie. Simone Marie Brossier. Kyla Rose Cardoso. Tara Rose Nell Cassidy. Ann Mole Vipin Chata. Carly Lucy Conzo. Eileen Marie Dempsey. Nicholas John Dinozzo. Stephen Thomas Deering. Gabriella Didiano. Michael George Donnelly Jr. Michael is the recipient of the Gaylord Specialty Healthcare Scholarship Award. <laughs> Hannah Marie Drolet. Kristen Laura Duthie. Jared Einhorn. Sally Magdi Elsa Carey. Matthew Anthony Ferrari. Anthony Joseph Fontana. Cara Elizabeth Gaziano. Kelly Brianne Gazzo. Rachel Brooke Gerschlack. Stephen Joseph Giblin. Katharina M. Greco. Kelsey Jean Hart. Reed Carpenter Holden. 
Tasty Stevens Irvine. Sydney Samantha Jew. Jessica Jimenez. Justin Michael Cody. Danielle Alexis Conowal. Alyssa Catherine May. Oops. <laughs> Gabrielle Enrique May. Stephen Joseph McCormack. Megan Ann McCullough. Mary Kate Carol McVeigh. Carolyn Francis O'Leary. Seth Alterek Packman. Gregory Francis Palmer. Erica Bryce Peters. Melissa Danielle Rare. Nicholas John Schneid. Caitlin Anna Selva. Samantha Marie Saratelli. Sarah Elizabeth Sargent. Michael John Stashik. Michaela Lynn Sturm. Michaela is the recipient of the Mark F. Tantorsky Memorial Award. Lindsay Ann Thompson. Brick, Brooke Vivian Oliano. Lindsay Rita Kathleen Vos. Bianca Rose Waffenschmidt. Bianca is the recipient of the Gaylord Specialty Healthcare Scholarship Award. Shayna Lynn Zoller. Amelia M. Ziribko. Madam President, I have the honor to present from the School of Health Sciences candidates for the degree of Doctor of Physical Therapy. By the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Physical Therapy with all of the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. <laughs> On behalf of the faculty and staff of the School of Health Sciences, congratulations to all of today's graduates, and thank you to Dr. Reginald Eady for his re inspiring remarks. It's now my privilege to introduce Dr. Lisa O'Connor, Dean of the School of Nursing. Marshals, please direct the candidates for the Master of Science in Nursing degree to the platform. <laughs> Catherine Joanna Cannon. <laughs> Leslie Collins. <laughs> Carolyn Marie Crepeau. 
Lori G. Crouch. Lori is the recipient of the Academic Excellence Award, Master of Science in Nursing, and the Benjamin and Juliet Truen Award for Academic Excellence in Nursing. Lisette Marie Hoffman. Adrian Lofton. Samantha Marie McPhail. Megan E. Matheny. Elizabeth Deedon Pelletier. Catherine Mary Peterson. Jennifer Christine Poirier. Alyssa Rose Porter. Patrine K. Roden. Madam President, I have the honor to present from the School of Nursing candidates for the degree of Master of Science in Nursing. By the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Master of Science in Nursing with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. I would like to invite to the hooding area faculty members Lima Carosis and Karita Sheck, who will be performing the Doctor of Nursing Practice hooding. Marshals, please direct the candidates for the Doctor of, pra Doctor of Nursing Practice degree to the platform. Catherine Ann Adams. Cheryl Lynn Aglio Girelli. Antigona M. Iro. Jurley Amazon Rodney. Ashley Ann Antonucci. Jan M. Atwell. Gisela Bowen. Maurice Edwards Bunnell. Kirsten B. Butkovsky. Dana M. Cantiello. Andrea Carey. Liliana Alexandra Carlson. Jennifer Glanville Carroll. Martha J.W. Combs. Jenna M. Cook. Salvatore Criscolo. Carrie Alyssa Daniels. Evelyn Kuma Danso. Christine J. Dempsey. Christine Joy Sewitt Diocampo.
Diane M. DeFiore. Abigail Rose Donnell. Katie Donahue. Sonal Meta Fisco. Heidi L. Forst. Norma Gano. Sadie Kathleen Hartel. Sadie is the recipient of the Holistic Nursing Practice Award. Marianne T. Hatfield. Adelina Nancy Healy. Denise D. Henry. Kevin I. Hickman. Leanne Howard. Kelly Anita Howe. Marlene Iannotti. Rosalind Ingram. Antoinette B. Capto. Janice Betty Casa Butcher. Andrew LaRoche. Phyllis Lestrange. Lalita Long. Laura Francis Longo. Michelle Lucenti. Annalise Mayen. Juliana Manti. Chelsea Martin. <laughs> Kelly Matt. Lauren Ashley Maxiner. Kelsey McDonald. Justin Matheny. Melissa A. Meyer. Shireen Mustafa Moynadin. Evelyn Kinye Nigua. Melanie Quadro Nino Nuevo. Rashida Olekun. Stephanie R. Palmino. Susan Pavlik. (laughs) 
Abner Perez. Rosanna Petanito. Sabrina Petrillo. Stephanie Doreen Kloss. Anne Marie Reed. Trisha Marie Reyes. Ilona Resnitsky. Jacqueline Marie Rivera. Keisha Romulus. Keely Kathleen Post Russell. Megan Sabatino. Lydia T. Santos. Sarah Caitlin Scott. Sarah is the recipient of the Academic Excellence Award, Doctor of Nursing Practice. Erica N. Seaman. Erica's degree is awarded posthumously. Her friend Carrie Daniels will accept the degree on behalf of Erica and her family. Jita Sharma. David Sheldon Smith. Laura Stanton. Stephanie Deacon Stewart. Maureen Stokes McCarthy. Tracy, Tracy Pamela Zviboda. Mojisola Omalabaki Talabi. Moji Sola is the recipient of the Benjamin and Julia Truen Award for Professional Leadership in Nursing. <laughs> Kayla Rose Thrall. Mirha G. Tupas. Katie A. Vigil. 
Ines Marie Zemides. Madam President, I have the honor to present from the School of Nursing candidates for the degree of Doctor of Nursing Practice. By the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Nursing with all of the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. On behalf of the entire School of Nursing community, congratulations to all of the graduates. It's my privilege to introduce Dan Bizanis, Quinnipiac alumnus, to officially welcome our graduates as alumni. I ask the graduates to please rise. It is my honor to stand before you as a member of the class of 1991. I invite you to move your tassel to the left of your cap. This simple act. <laughs> this simple act signifies your transition from student to alumnus and the continuation of your unique and meaningful lifelong relationship with Quinnipiac. I am especially pleased to have all of you as fellow alumni. Congratulations, Bobcats. Congratulations again to the class of 2019. As we conclude today's ceremonies, I have a couple of announcements. Only the platform party and faculty will recess out. Our graduates and families can proceed to the Rocky Top Student Center next door for a reception. Transportation for those that need assistance is available. Once outside, you'll see signs on the left. Would everyone now please stand for the recessional? Thank you. 